Hi, just let you know that uh, my uh, cousin, I called the cowboy, was uh, sick with a, uh, a flu. But it must have been something else because he, there was also a lot of pain in his kin kidneys and uh, uh, vomiting, he said. And I don't think the flu makes you vomit unless it's a stomach flu. But he had the he had the flu and he had something else too at the same time. And I, I said, well, hey, colloidal silver seems to have uh, saved my bacon a few times uh, with the... Uh, at least with the bacteria, like uh, strep throat, and uh, I'd call it uh, uh, salmonella. And uh, I was with my girlfriend for four days, and she was uh, really sick with a cold. I was trying to get her to take colloidal silver, and she wouldn't take it. She thought it would interfere with the drug she was taking, and she never got healthy. But anyway, I thought, well, hey, my cousin, I bet he's more uh, daring. So I brought over colloidal silver with to him, and in two hours after taking it, he called, he called me back, and, and he said in two hours he was fine. So, if you're watching this video, and you have the flu, or whatever bacteria or uh, virus, because it seems to work with it seems to work with both by depriving them of oxygen. Uh, it doesn't hurt your your cells. Seems like we get the bacteria in your gut though, and you need that bacteria here. But I've I've taken it and I seem fine. I seem fine as far as I can tell. Uh, I'm I'm now number two. Sounds weird to say number two. Uh, on AOL Chess, um, all day, I've been number two. Usually I drop down to like number six or seven. And uh, so it hasn't affected my mind any that I can tell. And so really, if you are sick with the flu or whatever it is, try a colloidal silver. I took, I took two stoppers of colloidal silver when I had uh, salmonella poison, food poisoning, when I went to a Mongolian barbecue, and uh, I was better in three days. In three in three hours, I was fine. So, yeah, I felt like my guts were going to explode. And uh, after taking the colloidal silver, fine. So, I t <laughs> I tell you, and I think it I think it saved me from. Um, having liver cancer when I was exposed to hepatitis B when I don donated my plasma back in 1996. Um, suppose you get liver cancer 15 years after having living in symbiosis with your liver and it's been 22 years and I'm still kicking. Yeah, no problem with my liver that I can tell. But 